Hi, my name is Abdul Samad. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am discussing about the construction details of DC generator. Yoke. You can see from this, it is the outermost part of the DC generator. It gives the protection for the provide the mechanical uh, support for the poles and it is give the protecting cover for the machine and it carry the magnetic flux produced by the poles the second one is the pole core and pole shoe from the figure you can see that this one is the yoke and this one is the pole core and this one is the pole shoe this pole core and pole shoe is made up of thin lamination of annealed steel. This lamination we did for giving a protection for the or in order to eliminate the D current loss and we make the material as annealed steel to reduce the hysteresis loss. The poles are joined to the yoke with the help of bolt or welding. The pole core is established to the required magnetic flux. The magnetic flux is producing. This in this figure it is a two pole. One this one and the second one is this one. Two poles are the uh, this uh, pole core. It carry the field windings and pole shoes are fixed on this one. There is so much uh, too much purpose for the pole shoes. We here we are mentioning two purposes that is it supports the field coils and it spreads the flux in air gap uniformly and the next one is the field windings we discussed before uh, this field windings are made up of enameled quarter copper this enameling is for the insulation purpose and it is fixed or wound on the pole core they are connected in series and if the current is passing through it produces the magnetic flux it will make alternate north and south poles this in this figure it is four pole dc generator one two three four the next one is the armature core we can see from the figure it is cylindrical shape and in the outer periphery there is slots these are the slots in this slots this armature winding this is the armature winding armature windings is fixed in the outer periphery of the armature this is the rotor of the dc machine in this one the same we discussed in the pole core and pole shoe this is also uh, silicon steel in this material silicon steel to eliminate stress loss and it is also laminated to reduce the current eddy current loss and it provide the air holes we cannot see in this figure due to this armature winding provide the air holes or ventilating decks for the cooling purpose and this armature is fixed or keyed to the shaft next one is the armature windings in this figure you can see this one the armature windings is fixed in the outer periphery of the armature core uh, same as like the field coils or field windings it is also the enameled quarter copper wires are this this is insulated from each other and from the armature core the emf we know that in the dc generator emf is inducing this emf is induced in this armature windings according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction two types we can connect this armature winding in two types lap winding or wave winding the next one is commutator in this figure this one is the commutator this commutator will rotate alone with the armature it is also same as the shape of armature it's a cylindrical shape and made up of number of wedge shaped copper bars or segments this is copper bar 
or segments. These, these are insulated from each other by a thin layer of mica. This black color material is mica. It's used for to insulate the uh, each co uh, copper bar or copper segments. The main function of the commutator is to collect current generated in the armature conductor. And uh, in this the commutator, we can say that an important part in a DC generator is the commutator because it converts the AC that produced in the armature conductor into DC. That's the main function. The, from the commutator, the AC current is converted into DC current. The number of segments, there is too much numbers of segments are there. It is equal to the number of armature coils. You can see this figure. The armature and the commutator is rotating. You can see from this one. The armature and commutator is rotating, but this one, the brush, it is not rotating. It is fixed on the commutator. Brush, we discussed earlier in that uh, figure. The brush is fixed on the commutator. It is stationary. This armature and commutator is rotating. And... Uh, this brush is not moving, it is fixed, it is stationary. Due to this one, there will be some wear and tear because the material is carbon. Wear and tear will be there and sometimes sparking. Sparking will be there. Next one is bearings. You know that this is bearings, wearing roll or ball bearings are there. Function is to reduce the friction. Mostly we will use high carbon steel because it is very hard material. The last part we will discuss is shaft. You know that the armature core and the commutator cooling fans all are fixed on this shaft. The shaft is transferring the mechanical power to the machine. This shaft is made up of mild steel. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for getting more videos.